share the link okay so behave well now because you are going to be in youtube <laughs> okay give me a second okay okay so today we are planning to discuss 2017 paper and 2012 paper so sorry right 2012 paper and i'm sick today i can't talk for long right therefore i need your support i'm giving some questions if i get tired <sighs> I was suffering from influenza. Now somehow I got antibiotics and I'm okay. Somehow I need since I need to do the class I can, right? <coughs> okay. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Yes, I know. Tell me. Sir, I, I am on my grandma's house and I'm on uh, ah, like okay. a little dark room. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Okay. Okay. Shall we start then? New paper, two thousand twelve, right? <coughs> Alia, it's fine, right? Okay. Uh, I'm loading two thousand twelve paper to this. Can you all see the board? Is it clear? <coughs> I mean, it's also there. Okay, so the two thousand twelve paper. Now I think most of you have completed this paper. So take it out, right? <coughs> okay. I'm starting with the first question. Okay. Hmm. 2012. Write down your paper that we are discussing. 2012 paper today. Right. Okay. First question. Which shape is pentagon? What is pentagon? Pentagon is the shape with. First one. First one. Sir. Exactly. Pentagon is shaped with five sides. Five sides. This one should be the answer. Dini uh, and Shenaya. Uh, Shenaya. Another Shenaya is there, Dini. Shenara. 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 Are you sir? Shenara is there. Shenara too. No, Shinar. Ah, yes, she sent me a message. <laughs> Question number two. These are easy stuff, right? Which is, I don't need to subtract these things, ne? Yeah. <laughs> what number is arrow pointing to? Seven point five. Tell me if there's a difficult question. If you can't understand what I'm doing, right? I'll go fast. First ten questions are very easy. Me too. Is alone today. You all alone today. Where's your friend? <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, Minuli says hi to uh, me too. She's how is your head? She's asking. She has head, so I can see the head, right? <laughs> Huh? Okay. Uh, question number four. <coughs> what is two hundred fifty-eight rounded to the nearest hundred? Yeah, that one I'll just teach some of you. Everybody check this out. Two hundred fifty-eight. Now you know eight is what you call unit place. Three hundred. Five is tens place. When you round into nearest hundred, you need to separate hundred place and tens place. This is what you call tens place. Sorry. Unit. This is hundred. So you need to look at what what is in tens place. If it is number five or more than 
10 pi that goes to nearest 10 giving plus 1 to the 100 place so which means 100 place number becomes 3 these two numbers become zero okay any question okay. <laughs> if you need yes why not when i write something some notes you also copy it down it will be very helpful okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I can't see some faces. Rajabi, Kevin, are you guys there? Yes. Hmm? Today, shall we keep the camera on? Hmm? Kevin? Normally, we keep our cameras on in the class, right? Okay. Kevin is your school, ne? Kevin put a gate. You are Kevin put a you are from gateway. You are side muted. <laughs> Kevin, hi. Kevin. Can you hear me? Yes. Ah, good. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to question number five. Okay. Have you all finished copying the previous one? Huh? Okay. 63 minus some number answer is 29. So how can we find this number? <laughs> now when you subtract unknown number, you are getting 29. Yeah. We need to find this unknown number. Ne? What you need to do is if you take the di difference between these two, you are finding x. So 63, 29, 34. Right? In, if it is as an equation, what we do is we swap the x and 29. You got it. Right. Now you guys know equations, right? <laughs> okay. Need copy it down. Huh? Look at the shapes drawn on the square grid. Which shape contains exactly three right angles? Sir, can you go up a bit for question sure, sure, five? Sure. Okay, sure. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a strip there. I ate too much strips and my teeth got wounded. Teeth, teeth again is there. You probably had to remove the teeth. Okay, finish. All are finished. Yeah. Okay, Question number six. Look at the shape drawn on the square grid. Which shape contains exactly three right angles? You know right angle name. What is it? 90 degree angle. This one, how many right angles? Four. This one. This one, one, two. This one, one, two. And this is another right angle. Five. This is a paint again, right? Kevin, Kude, if you have any questions, tell me. <coughs> okay, question number seven. The bag contains four KX. Joseph needs 30 KX. How many bags must he buy? So he has to buy one whole bag. Ne? For 30 cakes, how many bags? If you divide 30 by 4, 0. 0.27, 28. Two remaining, if you put the decimal point, you need seven and a half bags, but we can't buy 
half bag which means we have to buy another full bag which means right yes simple like that yeah, <coughs> this question is easy i'm going fast huh? yes. if you want me to slow down tell me okay question number Eight. <laughs> I need to six. Six foot the answer is this one. Okay. Here is a tile. Tile is rotated. Which diagram shows the tile last it has been rotated now? Okay. Mm, nice one. If you have tracing paper, you could have traced this and rotate and see. <clears throat> but we have a software. Lucky we. <laughs> mm. Let me rotate it for you. Oh, see. All right, but you need to do is take a tracing paper, right? At the exam hall, you can request tracing paper. Hmm? Sir, I correct even without the... Sir, <coughs> tracing paper, without very good. Without the tracing Very good. Very good. Very good. So the answer should be first one. Which number sentence is correct? Hmm. Second one, okay. sir. This is 25. This is 16 to 4, 24. 16 to 4, 24. 18 to 3, 21. This one. Uh -huh. <coughs> Which fraction is equal to 104? The 5 over 20. Yes. You all got it, right? I divided yes, both numerator and denominator by 5. Which measurement is equivalent to 0 0.2 meters? How can we convert meter into centimeter? How, how we convert centimeters? Meters? Okay, one meter equals 100 <coughs> centimeters. Very good. Very good. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Is it uh, two centimeters? 20, by 0 0.2 into 100. Which means we need to bring this decimal point twice to right side, which is 20. Is that clear to all of you? Yes, hmm? sir. See, 100 mean bring it over here. Then you get into it. Okay. Oh my god, my ears. Okay, here is a shape with angle P, Q, R, S, and D. Which list shows the angles in order of size starting from the smallest? Huh? The second but this P is the smallest. Then S. Then R. Then T. T, then Q. It's easy, isn't it? Kevin, are you there? Hmm? Yes, sir. Okay, shall we keep the video switch on? Hmm? Yes, sir. I'll leave the video. Senot, are you there? 
question number 13 here is a spinner it is a regular octagon what is regular octagon mean an octagon a regular octagon means why is the name word regular is there sir sir um, it's regular because it has all all the all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal i got one answer i need some answer from you guys what is the meaning of regular sir whose answer did you get an octagon when polygon is regular mm, it's all sides are all same. the sides all the sides are same i i totally agree all the angles are the same very good all the sides equal all the angles equal these both of these conditions should be fulfilled not all the angles only one <coughs> yeah. you the both conditions should be fulfilled now remember So the both conditions should be fulfilled to be a regular polygon, not one. Hmm? All the angles equal, all the sides equal. I'm just giving these points. Maybe you don't need these points in this question, but future me you might need. That's why. <coughs> Now they are saying Salma spins the point <coughs> pointer on the spinner. What is the most likely score? Exactly. Most likely in the sense, can you all remember probability scale? Hmm? Yes, sir. We'll just. I know you all know, but I'll draw it again. Here we call impossible, which is zero probability, zero point five. One. This is certain. This is even. Ah, uh, this part we call unlikely. This is we call likely. Likely means there's a more chance of getting that result. Unlikely means there's a less chance of getting that result. Tossing a coin, getting a head. Where it comes in this case, even. Solving a dice, getting an even number. I'm telling again. Solving a dice, six-sided dice, getting an even number. Where that experiment incident scales in probability scale. One answer correct. Let's see what is the outcomes when you throw a dice. What are the possible outcomes? Seven. Getting even number. Let's say E. Ah, uh, out of six outcomes, exactly three outcomes are there. Ah, uh, which means getting even number has even chance. Is it clear to all of you? Getting Square number. <clears throat> What are the square numbers? One square is one. Two square is four. Three square is nine. Getting square number. Let's say s. Yes, only two possibilities are there. One and four. This if if I take this incident, the probability that happens is. Impossible, unlikely, even likely, or certain. Unlikely. Another one. Throwing a dice, 
getting a number from 1 to 6 Thirteen. Throwing a dice, getting a number eight or nine. Now you got it, ne? Good. So this Salma spins the point on the spinner. What is the most likely score, which is three? Why this three has more chance because its angle is very big. Okay, if you need, write these things down, right? This extra. Extra note is there for you to understand. Good. Right, right, right. right whatever you face, important, you can pop it down. Maybe that's a probability scale. Even if you know probability scale, you can copy it down. Very good. Nice. Shall we use blue pen? Red pen only for teachers. It's a not red. It's a orange. Shall we use something like green? Orange, red, da for teachers. No, hmm? no songs today. No songs. So you Pink. I like more green. Brown, blue, black, you can use. <coughs> okay, cool. Shall I go to the other question? You all can hear my voice, ne? Today I'm talking slow. My throat is gone actually, but still I'm doing how do I don't know how I'm doing this. <coughs> ah, very good. What is sixty percent of sixty? Whenever you see percentage sign like this, so they write it as fraction. When you see off, this off represent what? Multiplication. Remember off represent? Multiplication. I gave. We did long ago, right? Into 60. This is what they mean, right? So 60% of 60 mean this is what you should write. Okay. Now remember there is a ghost over here. What is that? One. One. Exactly. This zero will cancel out to this zero. This zero will cancel out to because this hundred is in denominator. This number sign numerator. Six into six, which is thirty-six. <laughs> That's fine. At the exam, they don't expect you to write the working for the first part. A part, you don't need to show any working. No working needed at all. But rough workings, you can do with paper, separate piece of paper, and mark the answer over here. But the B part, <coughs> you must show the working. Okay, cool. Hmm. Alia. Huh? Alia, not Ali, asks nine friends. Ne Alia, hmm? how many books do you have in your bag? Here are the results. What number of books is the mod? What is mod mean? Mod. New friends? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Most frequent value. Kevin, do you have any idea? Mod, mod mean to take most repeated value or most frequent, most occurring value. How many fours are there? Three. But six or so, so there are but two. Therefore, mod is four. Then you mark someone something else. Okay, cool. Lohara missing. Lohara? Lohara? Ah. Lohara's laptop is moving automatically in Lohara. How is that? Hmm? Yeah. 
It's a walking laptop, is it? Hmm? Okay, cool. Hmm. Question number 16. Which of these shapes has five faces and five vertices? What is vertices mean? Binoli? Ginoli, Ginoli. I need to know the definition of meaning of word is. The word is like the right here. Today, Dinara is not there. Ne? I was thinking why it is so silent. <laughs> Dinara missing. Dinara? Is she there? No, no. It's not the line. Hmm. Ah, no, no. What is word is? Pointy. Pointy, pointy edges we call. Vertices. Now, when the two lines meet okay. each other, that's vertices. Now, when I draw shape, two or five, it's a square based pyramid. Yeah. Triangle. How many? How many vertices are there? Three. 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 No, 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 it's not very good. Two. Two. Because the last one is not really very good. Three. Three vertices. Three vertices are there. How many edges are faces are there? One face. But this they are talking about which of these shapes has five faces and five vertices? Square based pyramid. Square based pyramid. Yeah. You all know square based pyramid. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. How many vertices are there? Five. five. And eight edges. Eight. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Eight edges. We'll write down that for all the shapes, shall we? Huh? Square base pyramid. Let me write. Put the faces all. Yes. <coughs> faces five, vertices also five. F represent faces, huh? Pentagonal prism. Pentagonal prism. Okay, let me show you pentagonal prism. Shall I draw it over here? The five faces. Exactly. That's my shape sound over here. Now it's okay. <laughs> this is what you call pentagonal prism. How many uh, faces are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many vertices? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that clear to all of you? Yes. Hmm? yes. Cuboid. You all know. And do you want me to draw that? Yeah, cuboid. <coughs> this is a cuboid. Yeah. Yeah. One, um, two, three, four, five, six phases. Yeah. Well, what? But how many vertices? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine? No. Eight vertices. Hmm? 
imagine that that project that is a nice qy vertices 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 got it point edges triangular prism How many vertices? One, two, three, four, five, six. Faces one, two, three, four, five. The tabular run. Exactly. The best example is tabular run. Yeah. Right. I don't remind these things in the class, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I reminded Me. it because I, I ate it. <laughs> right? Tobler wrong. Huh? Okay. Okay, cool. So, this should be done. Hmm? I gave you a whole bar of Yeah, thank you, Lohara. Still, it's there, I think, in the refrigerator, some small piece is there. <laughs> when I put chocolate into my fridge, my mom eats also. <laughs> it's difficult to keep it. <laughs> okay, cool. You got it, Nebu? Then now shapes you can identify vertices and phases, right? Cool. Seventeenth question, right? So put a you guys also write down these phases and vertices for each shape in your paper itself, right? Okay, cool. Which one of these sets? of numbers contains only prime numbers ah, okay i need to know what is oh no no no, no question question mito hi what is prime numbers put a definition i need one no very good very good that definition perfectly correct and numbers that can be divided by one or the number itself. That is the perfect definition. Basically, prime numbers have only two factors. Tell me a few examples, Mito. Few examples for prime numbers. You don't know examples. Okay, number one, can we take as a prime number? Yes, no. No or yes. yes. Those who think number one is prime number, raise your hand. That's fine, right? No. Okay. No, no, no. Here online. No, I need Raise your hand if you think it's okay. Why, uh, Lohara, you think it's not a prime number? No, I don't. Because 27 can be divided by 1, 27, and 9, and 3. No, no, no. My question is why number 1 is not a prime number? <laughs> Because they have more than one factor. They have more than um, two factors. Okay, I, that is all. Answer is over there. I don't know why you think number one is a prime factor. Because no, no prime state has one as a uh, number besides one. So, you are saying it's a prime number. Yes, I'm saying it's prime number. No. The definition of prime number, I'll tell you. So can I tell? So can I tell? So can I? Yes. Right, I'll give you that. Definition of prime number, it should have two factors. Only two factors. Am I correct? The number and one itself. But if you take one, it has only one factor. Why? It's just one. Does it prime number? No. One is not a prime number. These are very important points. You are getting questions out of this. Everybody should write down. One is not, not a prime number. And there is a question once. Write down even prime number. Actually, there is only one even prime number in this whole world. Number two. The number two. Number two. Only even prime number. Yes, two. Remember, there's only one even prime number. There are no other prime numbers which is even. Okay, we'll start with two. I'll write few numbers for you. 
Okay, you guys tell me. All right, start. What? Yeah. Nine is not a prime number. Can someone tell me why nine is not a prime number? Exactly. Nine has more factors than nine and one itself. Three also factors. 11, 11, 57, is yeah. 57 is not a prime number yeah. one it can be divided by 3. three. 59 is prime number. 59, 60, 61. 61. Very good. 67. Very good. Uh, 71. Very nice. Very nice. 3, 73. Whoa. Good. 79. Keep moving, keep moving. Up to 100. 29. 101. So 79? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what we can take. 70? 79. 79. Very good. 83? Cool. 89? 89. And 97. Oh my God! Very good, huh? How do you know these things? With one side, just said one side, just studied. Mm, very good. Really cool. First hundred prime numbers. Yes, yes, you must. Cool, very nice. <laughs> you need to remember this by heart. You need to study. Like Kara, exactly. Hmm? Kevin, Kevin has nice profile picture. Kevin. But I, I need to see the face, Kevin. Uh, hi. <laughs> Senut. Uh, Senut is the uncle's place. Huh? Not elephant. It's... See your friends. <laughs> Lohara can't see you. <laughs> Lohara can only see me, right? Okay. Hi, Tashrik and hi, Rajadi. Hmm? I'm the one who, I'm the one who gave uh, Dini and uh, Shania the uh, information. Ah, really? Yeah. yeah. Sahara, saying yeah. hi to new two friends. Yeah. Okay, copy this down to the finish it. We'll go to question 18, right? <coughs> I'll drink some hot water. Excuse me, sir? Mm -hmm. uh, for, I mean, I, I have done the whole past paper because I like I do it every day. Oh, very nice. So now it is uh, done. Uh, now I am done, and my mother marked it with the red pen, so mm -hmm. I can't like, uh, like. Ah, uh, you can't share it with me now. Yeah. So then we'll do it again and share. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. If you're done with these papers, any of you finish, send me a personal message. I have more. Cambridge papers which you can practice which is good for your knowledge once you finish if you finish this paper pack at the home let me know Senut, send me a message today today I'll share don't worry I'm not pushing you to do it if you if you interest in maths 
you can start and finish right okay. i'm pushing only for these papers per week giving only one paper i'm very reasonable hmm? yeah finish good okay i'm going for question number 18 look at the diagram hmm? which two lines are perpendicular to each other a b and very good a b and b c a b line segment and b c line segment perpen how we found that it's perpendicular or as you can say if b c is perpendicular to b c sir for question 17 17 would be ah i didn't get the answer sorry 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 what should be the answer second See, all the three numbers are here. Why should I mark the answer? Ne, you all know. Yeah, okay. Eighteen to one. Check this out. Look at the diagram. Ah, when you have two parallel lines, now B and B C is perpendicular to C D, but it's perpendicular since if one straight line in and other straight lines, if they make ninety degree, we call they are perpendicular to each other. <coughs> PQ RP let's say so we can write PQ is perpendicular to RP this symbol is the perpendicular symbol in mathematics huh yes Dinara is having fever. She she joined the hands. Sir, but she joined hands. Yeah. Anyway, put it. I'm sharing the recording. Ah. Huh? Hmm. Sorry. another science class we mean put there there's a science class for you yeah right <laughs> okay now i will see our answer what is it b c a b and c b c a b and b c perpendicular now see how i found that this angle also 90 degrees this is 90 but no one has given this is 90 How I found it ninety? Can you remember because when it's, uh, it's, uh, these two lines parallelly? Uh, when one uh, angle uh, is ninety, this side also becomes ninety. Can you remember? Side, uh, Did I teach you alternate corresponding angles now? Eh? <laughs> May I do that part quickly? That's a small theory part. Hmm? Okay, we'll do it quickly and come back to this question. Everybody, listen very carefully. Eh? when there are two parallel lines like this what are the parallel lines mean bute tell me why we call these are parallel uh, parallel lines, lines are they meet some at a point no they, now if i draw a parallel line they will intersect at a point the what can you give me a nice example for parallel line from the nation uh, ladder uh, train tracks train tracks very nice train tracks what happen if they are not parallel yeah. uh, if you take your book uh, see this is my phone parallel 
lines are here right yeah pa parallel lines are here see these two parallel white board ah these are two edges parallel these two edges parallel to each other lot 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 right piano when you intersect parallel two lines with another line we get some angles check this out this one and this one a and b it's it's in z shape ne and similarly c and d ne is it see when you write z later these two he said later we can write the other way also uh we call them b is remember see this a b equal to a a equal to b c equal to d we call them all turn it angles <coughs> alternate alternate angles are is said shape is said shape this symbol this symbol bute for angles ah this symbol is short format for angle right copy this down quickly is said shape but what is the name of pz shape angles alternate angles very important very 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 important until low level you need to know these things <coughs> so then a level a level no a level anyway you need to know see <laughs> right is you all are from gateway you have to do something called specification b for your levels what you going to do for your levels is harder than netuli she is going to do spec a little you are one little easier than them little easy yeah not that you guys doing the hardest thing so lot easy Spec B is hard. It's lucky you. What about it? You don't have choice. Either spec A or foundation or programs. Ah, uh, your brother doing programs or something? So no problem. But he is good in maths. You can ask question from my yeah. Normally you don't ask me. <coughs> okay. There's another type. What is that? Quickly finish this, Pude. Alternate angle. So remember, A is equal to B, C is equal to D. Are they done? Yeah. How many is this copied? Yeah. Very good. Shall we write that on the book if you have? Hmm? Draw the figure and write it. On the book. Make sure that you draw that figure and write it down. Draw the figure. This figure is very important for you to draw. Very important. Everybody should draw this figure and write this down. Because there are another two types, right? <laughs> I'm going to explain this later again, but first, the symbol is the short format for the angle word. Huh? In future, we use this symbol a lot to shorten the word angle. 
because when you write in the future there's something called geometric reasoning which takes some reasoning which takes some time so we can use symbols and reduce the time that we used to write reason words <laughs> okay the okay, next one is correct ah okay corresponding angle this one was alternate angles ne this one is corresponding angle right corresponding angle i'm i'm adding some more letters into my picture e a g h so you also write these letters in your diagram <laughs> see this question helps us to learn a lot of things ne Corresponding angles. Corresponding angles with the shape is F shape, right? Capital F letter. You will find these angles like this. Even F letter can be upside down. You write down everything. I write down. Huh? So here, what are the angles? F equal D. You see, F and D, E and A, C and H, B and G. All these are corresponding angles. Ah, then he has. Uh, American bully. American bully. Oh. American bully, ne? Dogs. I saw a picture just now. Two American bullies. My goodness. My goodness. They are talking about dogs. Who tell yeah. me to? Yeah, that one. Uh, uh, I think that one. Small problem is there. It's not wrong. When you intersect like this, not like this, right? Because that shape is. It, it is not wrong. The one is not wrong. Because you need to see these angles clearly. And that's why. Planted one is much better. <coughs> Corresponding angles are equal. Okay, copy this. After you, after this note, I'll give you a few questions. Hello. 
Okay, much better. The first one not wrong. Huh? It's not wrong. Yeah. Only thing there, then you will not be able to see the differences between angles. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Good. Okay. Yeah. So, the diagram. The diagram. That is the most important thing. Without diagram, it doesn't make any sense. Make sure that you draw the diagram. The most important thing is the knot is this one. Without this, your knot will not useful at all. Quickly draw it. Okay, before everything, draw the diagram. Quickly draw the diagram. See, produce it, extend the line, then draw another one. Okay. Mark four angles only. A D H G H and G. Okay, cool. Now I'm giving you a few questions. Okay. I need your help. Example. <laughs> mm? No heading, just random questions, right? Sir, these are questions. Mm -hmm. Sir, I didn't really mm. understand. Find X and Y. Sir, I didn't understand. What is the value of X and Y? Hmm? Well, Sir? we'll do a few questions, then you will, right? I need to know value of X and Y. Find x comma y. <laughs> x is equal to 30. What is the reason? Can someone tell? Because the, the other side, the other side of like uh now they just the one reason corresponding angles are equal. So is y also 30? No. X and 30 is corresponding can you see f shape but can you see this x and y is in straight line now if you check the see there are angles in straight line what do you know angles in straight line 180 if i draw a straight line and if i have two angles as x and y so why is it x plus y is equal to 180. What is the reason? Angles in a straight line. Add up to 180. We all know that. We can write here also x plus y equal 180. What is the value of x? 30 plus y equal 180. Simple equation I'm taking 30 to the other side y equal 180 minus 30. Y equals, y equals 150 degrees. Simple question. Right? 
<coughs> now we all know what are the alternate and what are the corresponding angles. This rough idea is enough for now because grade seven, there's a whole lesson from parallel lines. Geometry. Geometry. <laughs> Finish. Just few papers will take time and do. Don't worry. Copy it, copy it, copy it. Hmm? Mosquitoes, uh, flies, cockroaches, gecko. Hmm? Get some geckos in mind. You know what I Are they uh, friendly or? Yeah. Uh, the American bullies? No. How many dogs? Two. What are the breeds? Shitsu mean that Japanese? Small one with a yeah, like yeah. a ball. She's fighting that that dogs are a little bit, uh, you know. <laughs> okay, I'm going back. Is it okay? Studying uh, geography late night, I, my mother made me some coffee. Mm -hmm. Then I went to the, you know, the store room for a walk. And Hi, sir. I'm back and drinking. Then the gecko excited. Oh, yeah. Sir, it's a gecko coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Use some inside mouth. Is that deviation? So, so he found new coffee. So gecko coffee. <laughs> okay, so I'm going back. Right? All are finished copying. Okay. Now Budi, I think it's more clear to you. See this? See this? Now, this angle 90 means this is 90 because of why? Alternate angles. Are you agree with me? This one 90, this one became 90 because see, it's a shape. See, it's a shape. Previous page. Yeah. Quickly copy, quickly copy. Right, I'll give one minute. This video will be uploaded to YouTube, don't worry. Oh, I'll share the link Why? to the group. You subscribe, so then whenever you need paper discussion, you can go back and check it. Isn't that good? It's a good idea. Not even three weeks recently. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I don't need subscribers. It's mainly because of you, right? Because you can go and check it out. Because if I keep it on Zoom, it will automatically be deleted within 30 days, I think. Yeah, because I don't have much space in uh, Zoom cloud. Yeah, cool. Mm, okay. Question. Now, Bhute, is it clear to all of you? This C, is it shape? Uh, this one and this one, is it shape? That's why this became 90 degrees. So we found A, B perpendicular to B. I know this is a small question, but we learn a lot. Yeah. From one question. Yeah. Yeah. Question number. <laughs> yeah, 19. Nathan has 1.02 kilos of flour 
he used half kilogram to make a loaf of bread how much flour does he have left so exactly 1.02 shall we convert that into grams multiplying it by 1000 then i'm getting 1020 grams why i have to bring the decimal point thrice then he using half kg which means 500 grams he used so we need to subtract 500 then you are getting 520 how much flour does he left so this question is all all based on conversion 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams this is the rule that we used so we multiplied 1.0 by 1000 we got 1020 grams half kg me 500 grams i found the difference is that clear to all of you me pute shena 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 and dini kevin yes sir is it clear with them hmm yes sir good question number 20 <laughs> Give me one minute. I'm so tired of talking now. Need some more. Don't go. Go. question which set of numbers is correctly ordered from smallest to large last one last one <laughs> but we'll check all the answers now first one if you check 0.5 no negative numbers tell me minus 10 minus 5 which one is bigger minus 5 remember when negative numbers are getting smaller right Okay. So according to this, this is wrong. We can see that. This one, no. No. Why? Minus five smaller than minus two. Should be last one. 
minus 5 minus 2 0 0.52 okay okay yeah we have right <laughs> missing now write in the missing number now we don't know missing number i'm taking that six unknown number so four into x four x equal 120 in equation like this what we do both sides we divide by four four to four cancels 120 divide by four 30 30 so you can just divide part, them by four and then <laughs> exactly but we'll do it with the steps to learn how we do it. now at the exam yes but at least at least show some work then we can get more credit yeah this is one mark anyway so uh, they don't expect much work you from <laughs> this uh, all papers are not that hard but gradually it's getting hard <laughs> i know i know i told you today after the three papers we'll go fast because i want to make sure that you cover all the theories that you need to know for the paper so anyway now 2012 2013 up to 2014 we'll do a little, little slowly after Ma february now february we just started after february march april we'll go very fast hmm? here is a jug of water yes Exactly. <laughs> That's easy. Oh, yeah. I know. Uh, the ta table shows the number of brothers and sisters of four friends. Put these, put the names into the correct place on the sorting diagram. One is done for you. Uh, so Fatima has two brothers, two sisters. So Fatima comes under common part. Why middle part? Because she has exactly she has one brother, one more, one or more brothers. <laughs> uh, can we put any other name over here? Tell me. Very good. Who said Sara? Sara can come over here or not? No, 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 no. Sara has one sister. One sister. Yeah. Sara has two sisters. Sara fulfilling these conditions or not? One or more brothers. She has one brother or more than that. Isn't she has one sister? So can't you put, put her name over here? Yeah, I have the same thing. Uh, then Jana, she has one, yeah, yeah. One, one, one. She has three sisters. Yeah. Jana comes over here, ne? Maria. Maria. Right? Maria. <laughs> Can can we put out the circle? Out the Maryam. Maryam comes inside the box, but not inside. The to tell the truth, the sister. Is it clear to all of you? Hmm? Copy down. So if you get two correct, one mark, right? If you get two correct, one mark. Hmm. Okay. Oh. 
two marks for the question if you get two correct one mark <coughs> Okay. So far, I have got everything correct. Very good. Very good. They're correct? Okay. I'm going to the other side. But it says, the numbers in the sequence double each time. Write the missing numbers. You had X over here. When you double it, which means when you multiplied it by 2, you got 36. So we need to divide the exactly. But here, is it clear to all of you? You also say? You are Raja Giri. You are in court. You are in court. Columbo 8. You have something closer. Tell me. Road sign. Raja Giri McDonald's. That time. Hmm. That you call Columbite? 
I don't know, I don't know. When you go to that side. Oh, ah, okay. When you just put food in your head, that's very good. See, ginger. Ginger. Ginger is a very good medicine. Sir, My goodness. It's the herbal uh, help. Sir, sir, sir. Uh, really? Okay. Uh, question number 25. Mm -hmm. Muhammad shares a pizza with two of his friends. Another pizza question. Okay. Uh, <coughs> Uh, how much shares a pizza? Mm -hmm. 23rd question, uh, Alia. Okay. 23rd. This is 23rd. Quickly copy Alia. Sir. Finish. Okay. Sir. The online yeah. children are feeling lonely while you physical kids uh, are. Wow. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. And it, we'll see, right? Ahmed has 35% of the pizza. <coughs> Hassan has 25% of the pizza. Yeah. Mohammed is the rest. So, all the, percent, all the percentages add up to 100. So they both have sixty percent. So therefore, Muhammad. Yeah, he has 40 percent. Yes. Easy. Easy question. <coughs> okay. Am I going too fast? No. <coughs> to Only if you feel this difficult. This one is easy. Hey. How much Nathalie marks for this one? 42. You guys try out of 60. Now out of 60, you need to try to score at least more than 45. Sarana? Sarana? Uh, what? Yeah. What I just said. You said we need to score more than 45 out of 60. That should be your target level, no? <laughs> Question number 26. Sarah asked, How much should you score? At least out of 60, 45. At least. Please. Is the minimum mark. Yeah, yeah. We'll go there eventually. Right? End of match. I want to see all of your marks about 50. Yeah. Yeah. Out of 60, you need to get about 50. After March. End of March. We have two months. We have two months. Okay. Sarah asked the children in her class, what is your favorite color? The chart shows the results. Boys and girls all in the same chart. Right? So, red color numbers are here. Likewise. How many more girls shows red than green? Three. <laughs> how many more girls shows red? We'll see how many red girls are there. Six. How many green girls are there? Nine. Why? How many more girls shows red than green? Five. Five. Six minus one. Is that clear to all of you? Number of girls in green is one. Number of girls in red is six. Different. How many children chose blue? Blue here. Three. Here blue. Three. Three plus three. Three plus three. Three plus three. 
How many children? Ne? Children mean you need to get both boys and girls. <sighs> what is most popular color in Sarah's class? We see here what is the number seven. Six plus seven, thirteen, which is red. Yellow, nine plus three, which is twelve. Yellow, twelve. Yellow, twelve. So, which is the most popular color? Red. I know you. You many of you wrote yellow, right? Yeah, because when they see the, I wrote red. You need to get the numbers into consideration. Right, not yellow. By yellow is only twelve. Twenty. Seven. Oh, Miss Patel has two children, Ali and Omar. Omar is six years younger than Ali. Omar is quarter of the age of his mother. Ali is 15 years old. Okay. <laughs> we'll go from the data. Omar is six years younger than Ali. Right? Ali's age is given Ali. 15. Which means Omar? See, Omar, six years younger than Ali. 15 minus 6, which is 9. Omar is quart of the age of his mother, which means if mother is X, X years. 9 times 4. Then X divide by 4 is equal to 9. Ne? See, Omar is quart of the age of mother. Quarter means one fourth. So mother's age divided by four equal to nine. You know what to do to take four into the other side. <coughs> we should multiply this side by four. This side also by four. Then you are getting four to four cancel out. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Ah, I was about to tell you that. But I want to tell you in the After going this to get to the future, I know. I was Okay. Did you write this down, everybody? <laughs> four to four cancel, huh? When you multiply by four. Mama. Mama. Clear to you? All of you? Kevin, everything okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Minuli, yes, Lohara, Senuli, Ara, Alia. So, Kevin, so question? Like, oh, good. Sir, so like, Raja, the question. Sir, so like Miss Patel had this first son when she was 15. <laughs> <laughs> Ish, is it? <laughs> what Raja the found is out of the question. When Miss Patel is 15, she had the first baby. <laughs> 
<laughs> is it amara is 15 third 6 minus 15 she is 11 is it no 21 21 21 yeah, see now she is 36 years old so 36 minus 15 21 so no, 21 is fine bude yeah. my mom had my uh, elder sister when she was 18 yeah my uh, elder sister and my mom she knows is 18 <laughs> okay shall we go to the other question 28 Two sides of rectangle has have been drawn on the square that are great. Complete the rectangle. Use a ruler. This is easy. Take your ruler. Okay, cool. That's easy. I'm not going to waste my time on this one. <laughs> Write this correct sign in each box. Twelve into eight. What is it? Ninety-six. So. Five. What is the easiest way? Do LCM. That which helps us to find all the factors that should. Let me show you the way I do it. I mean, there are a lot of different methods. <laughs> What is the first number I'm using? Two. Fifteen. Forty-five. I'm missing three, five, fifteen. Still three, five, five. Missing five. One, two, one. Now, prime factors are two, three, five. Right. So, what are the factors of both thirty and forty-five? Two. No, you can't use. Check each factor. Can we use uh, five? Yes. Can we use three? Yes. yes. Can we use fifteen? Yes. One. Yes. What else? Six. Nine. Nine. No. Thirty put it not divisible by nine. That's it, ne? Five. Both thirty, forty-five. Both divisible by five. Yeah, so I got the answer. Is uh, is it wrong? Okay. Separately, had to write like this. Put a comma and write. No, what they asking us to find? See, write all the numbers that are factors of both thirty and forty-one. We can't anyway use two. Why? Right? Two is not a factor of both thirty and forty-five. One is factor of both thirty and forty-five. <coughs> five, five is factor of both thirty and forty-five. Dini, you see? So this should be the answer, right? These four numbers. Sir, write it down. Tell me. Sir, I wrote the factors for thirty, and I wrote the factors for forty-five. That's correct. That's correct. So, but I didn't write like the the common factors like one, three, five. 
No, this is the way you need to write it. Okay. I forgot to mark the attendance. Give me one minute. Huh? That also I need to mark me. Give me one minute. I wish oh wow you know what happened to you know me today Oh, really? Yes. Abhimanyu is not there. Okay, I'm going to the other one. Yes, yes, yes. I am my 15, 15 is a factor of 30 and 40. Tell me, can, can 30 divide by 15? Yes, 15 yes. into 2. 30. Can 45 divide by 15? No, yes. No, yes, 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 yes. Multiplication table of 15 is not that difficult. Shall we check multiplication table of 15? <coughs> Help me. 30, 30, 45, uh, 75 Can you copy it down? Is it difficult? <clears throat> Shall we try to memorize? Yeah. Very good. <clears throat> Finish. Hi, Netuli. Netuli's name, why I forget to call this Netuli? What is the reason? Hmm? No, she. I think she do some magic. She forgets your name for me. Huh? Okay, finish. Hmm? Question number thirty one. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
Here are five triangles on a square grid. Complete the table. One is done for you. <laughs> is it an isosceles triangle? A. Yes. Is it right angle triangle? No. B. Ah, you guys tell me. No. Uh, not isosceles. No, it is not that. Yes, 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 yes. Check this. See this side to the diagonal of this. Right? Two down, three, sorry, three down, two, two right. Three up, two right. This two equal or not? Yes, I see. This is right angle. No, it is not. Because see, this is not right angle, you can see. <laughs> see. I say it is. Right? No. No right angle, you can see. D. Is it isosceles? No. Yes. Is it right angle? No, 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 this is a right oh, angle. Yes. Can you see that? That is right angle. See? Diagonal of one, this is 45, this is 45. That is actually this triangle is right angle. I said is. That is a special triangle, which is one is its right angle. Same way, it's isosceles. E. Is it isosceles? No, we can clearly see that. Definitely right angle. <coughs> Three correct. Hold on, let me check. How can marks I give for you? Two marks, I give one mark if four answers are correct. No marks. Yeah. <coughs> oh, if all correct, two marks. No marks. Two correct. At least now out of these eight, if four correct, one mark. More than four? Still one. Uh, if, if, all six, eight. if six correct. Six correct, one mark. <coughs> to get all eight marks, all eight should be correct. So Nathuri has one mark. But she got one wrong. Ne? See, out of eight, even if one wrong, still one mark. If one wrong, one wrong. One mark. Everything correct? One wrong. One mark. For you to get all marks, everything should be correct. Cool. Time is 2.30, we'll do one question and finish, right? I'll discuss next remaining part next week. Yes, we'll finish this page. Ah, we have another question now, yeah, I didn't see. Yeah, and it is three, six, zero. My goodness, this is so easy. Three, six, three, six, zero. Yeah, help me with the answers. What is the answer for this one? Hmm? This one? Yes.
It's easy. Last question. Last two questions, actually. <laughs> okay. Organizing a party. Sixty dollar to hire room. Food cost seven dollars for each person. Food cost. But room charge separately we need to pay. Yeah, seventy plus sixty. That's a entire cost. Oh yeah, there is one hundred thirty. It's easy, ne? Okay. Smith has this much. What is the greatest number of people can invite? So Wait, first, okay. first two hundred thirty-five minus sixty because anyway room charge we need to subtract. That's what I do. So then you are getting. Alright, seventy-five dollars she has. Therefore, greatest one paper person seven. So I need fourteen three. Twenty-five people, ne? Eh? Got it? If this is not clear, tell me. Ito. Online students, any question? Yes, hmm? sir. Sure. <coughs> Yeah, but we'll finish. Last question. Hmm? No, see here. Here are three statements. One third equals zero point three. One third is greater than zero point three. One third is less than zero point three. So we'll divide and see. One over three means one divided by three. Nene. Divide it and see. Are there threes? No. Three into zero zero. One minus zero one. Put the decimal point. Take zero. Three into three nine. Three into three nine. Three into three nine. Oh. Even if you do this whole. Your whole life, still it's zero point three 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 three. Ne, mm -hmm. three. We call this what? A recurring decimal. Three is a recurring number. <coughs> is this bigger than equals to zero point three? No. Is this greater than zero point three? Yes. Is this less than zero point three? No. Circle the correct statement. Explain sir, why it is correct. Sir, sir, but I didn't explain it because I don't What is the explanation? Explanation because the second decimal place, if you check, that is also three, right? Second decimal place is three, but if you take zero point three, zero. Second decimal place is zero. So zero is three is bigger than zero, ne? Right? If you go for the second decimal place, which is zero in zero point three, but zero point three three has. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> okay okay i think it's enough for today we'll finish Excuse it me, sir? Today. yes lahara uh, for that i did write the explanation so how many marks copy down are uh, you i don't know hold on uh without explanation i don't think they will give you marks i don't know that i need to check i i'll check the marking scheme and like you know for now just put one mark that's fine <laughs> okay guys if you see check uh, finish copy you can finish more so uh, next week we'll start from 30th fifth question and finish uh 2014 also you did you did 2015 maybe you send me the paper if i forget to send you the corrected one let me know vinuli i think uh, you are all the papers i sent you yesterday okay? when i vinuli uh, vinuli genuinely genuinely bye uh, sir you didn't send my one vinuli your paper was there yeah. no sir vinuli i shared yes, two papers just check with you when check i shared yesterday ah, okay. to moms and dads form yes, bye sir bye namai see you next week have a nice week bye Bye. Bye.